Hello, lovely people. I welcome you to Bright and Clarice's channel. This is episode 22 of the continuation of the electrical wiring that we began in episode 21. In this episode, we are going to continue the discussion on earth rod and lightning arrester. Why earth rod and lightning arrester? I'll be sharing that video with you in a jiffy. In the meantime, just giving you a, three, a 3D view of my house. So it's a ground floor, four bedroom, and then the top floor is an apartment. I did this because I needed to utilize the land properly and also for generational income, where generation will benefit from the same property. And therefore, I decided to use the ground floor, which is a four bedroom, Okay, and then on the top floor, I did a two-bedroom apartment on the left and that on the right. So just pause it, just view it, and then you will understand. So in your shot is how far we have come. And that is the foundation for things where they are putting the gravels or the laterite. Yes, so here they have to fill it up and then ramp it, pour water, and then once it's compacted, they will cast what we call the overside concrete. So we are going to discuss earth rod and lightning arrester. And therefore, earth rods, what are they used for? And then lightning arrester, what is its main purpose? We are going to discuss that one. So lovely people, this is Bright and Clarice channel. Most people have watched my video and they haven't subscribed. I wonder why. It's, it's not difficult to subscribe though. So if you wouldn't mind, Please help me. You'll see my picture on the extreme right corner. Just click on the picture and then subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And then once I drop a video, you'll be the first to know. It's very, very important. So lovely people, I believe you will do that for me now. Yes, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, let's go into another phase of the video. Here is the erection of the block work this is how we began yes so this is up to lentil all right so in your shot right now you see the gentleman at my building this is the backyard yes if you watch episode 21 you will understand in episode 21 we ended here and we are continuing from here so here we have to dig the ground put four edge roads into the ground so he's hitting the hammer on the edge road Yes, he has to make sure this um, earth rod go into the ground. This is a four feet earth rod. We have two feet, four feet. Are you with me? All right. So we put four earth rods together. We space them about one meter apart. And then we will loop them. The essence of this is, is to increase the resistance value. When I mean increase the resistance value, not necessarily giving you a higher amount, but giving you a low resistance value so that once you measure, it gives you a very good resistance value. Let me put it that way, a good resistance value, which we aim at obtaining about zero, 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 zero mega ohms. But mostly you will not achieve zero mega ohms. The standard rule of thumb is that at least we should get about less than 20 mega ohms. Yes, once we get less than 20 mega ohms, we have a good resistance value. The reason for this is that once there's a short circuit over current or over voltage or power fluctuation within your electrical system, yes, those SS current are not supposed to stay in the system. Okay, those SS current are supposed to come out, all right, and then go to the general mass of it. And that is why we do this. It's just like a pressure. A pressure is not supposed to stay in a particular vacuum. Once it stays in the vacuum, it will explode. So what, what do you do to the pressure? You have to release the pressure. And that is the electrical pressure being released to the earth rod. So you can see that he's looped all of them together. This is called earth loop impedance. Earth loop impedance. Where when you measure with your instrument, you're supposed to get not more or not less, or perhaps less within 20 mega ohms. Are you with me? Yes. So once he's done here, he's going to do the testing. 
Yes, all testings were done by my in-law, Mr. Isaac, in cancer with his boys. Yes, he's we've been working for quite some time. He worked with um, ECG, Electricity Corporation of Ghana, for years, working in various locations before having a company on its own. So he and his boys, they did an amazing job. When they get to my site, they sleep there, make sure everything is done. If it's three days, four days, they will sleep at the site and finish everything. Such an awesome gentleman. So that is the cable going straight to the distribution board. Yes, they will join one cable from the edge rod, which will go straight to the distribution board so that when there's overcurrent, fluctuation, power surging, under surging, over voltage, under voltage, whatever the circumstances may be, that current is not supposed to stay in the system. It will come to the general mass of earth where it will come to the earth rod right here. If I finish my building, I'm going to provide a lightning arrestor as well, and the lightning arrestor too will come right here. So in your shot, you're seeing they're putting charcoal dust. Yes, in most cases, we mixed with charcoal dust, sawdust with salt. We add uh, maybe one olonka of salt. Yes, salt brings a lot of moisture within the area. You know, to get good resistance value, you need moisture around. So here we will pour water and then leave it for about one day and then come back and cover it up. Those are junction box along my building. All my building along the four corners, I have junction box along all those areas so I could have power at any time when I'm outside. This is the distribution board where all the electrical wires have been terminated to the miniature circuit breaker MCB. And then at the bottom, you have your isolator switch. This is not an MC, uh, MCC, okay, MCCB. The bottom one is an isolator switch. It does not operate mechanically on its own when there is over voltage or over current. Are you with me? Yes. So this distribution board is called Havels. It's, I bought it at 1,000 Ghana cities. The other ones like MEM, okay, which is costing like 2,000 Ghana cities, but it, they are all doing the same job. This is a 12-way distribution board. And now you can see everything has been covered. Now my in-law, Mr. Isaac in Cancer, is going to provide a load shadow. A load shadow such that he will indicate exactly where all the cables are coming from. This is coming from kitchen. This is coming from bedroom one, master bedroom, bedroom two, bedroom three, guest room. This is coming from the hall. This is for a socket. He will indicate all of that. Die with me. And then the masons will come and do the dressing along the edges, and then it will look completely beautiful. You see that the DB will be flashing to the plastering at the end of the day. It will not be protruding. When I say protruding, you know, that is a big English. We say DB no MPR bon thing. I say flash it. It has to flash completely. Uh -huh. It's not be shooting outside. Are you with me? So the masons will come and do the dressing along the edges, and then I believe it will look extremely beautiful. So we have the edge rod we will talk about. The lightning arrestor too will be coming later on because it has to go on top of the roof, which I have not completed the first floor yet. So once I'm done with the first floor, the lightning arrestor is just a copper metal that we put at the top. Okay, and then when there's lightning, it will arrest the lightning and then take it because the lightning has current, which are positive and can cause harm. It can, it can blast your utility. So once you put the lightning arrestor, it should be in the middle or the center of your building. Yes, in the center of the building, and then it will arrest any power surges that comes or lightning that comes. Thank you, lovely viewers. Now, every connection done, arrangement done for even the solar panel in the future, yes, or even a power plant, everything done. All the meters connected, and then testing will be going on. Once it is done, I will share the testing process with you. Thank you, lovely people. Now, I'll be sharing with you in a nice episode very soon. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in episode 23. Bye-bye.